x over 5 minus 2 over 3 is equal to 1 over 4. We have fractions. Solve for x. x over 5 minus 2 over 3 is equal to 1 over 4. We do not have a common denominator. So what do we do now? We have 3, 5, and 4. So what we do is find the least common multiple. So get multiples of 5, get multiples of 5, get multiples of 3, get multiples of 4, and then look for the common numbers. And between the common numbers, look for the least of the common multiples. And what do we have? 60. Or use prime factorization. How do we use prime factorization? 5 is a prime number, so there's nothing we can do. 3 is already prime, nothing we can do. How about 4? Four? 4 is 2 times 2. 2 is a prime number, right? So what is the maximum number of 3? 1, 3, 1, 5, and 2, 2's. So all you have to do is multiply 3 times 5 times 2 times 2, and you get 60. So the, the least common multiple of 5, 3, and 4 is 60. So multiply throughout, left and right, by 60. So here is our starting equation, x over 5 minus 2 over 3 is equal to 1 over 4. So multiply both sides by 60. Multiply both sides by 60. And then distribute 60 to each term. And what do we get? 60 times x over 5, and that is this. And 60 times 2 over 3, and that is this. And then on the right side, it's 60 times 1 over 4. 60 divided by 5 is 12, so you get 12x. And what is 120 divided by 3? 40. And what is 60 divided by 4? 15. So 12x minus 40 equals 15. Add 40 to both sides. And what do we get? 15 plus 40 is 55. So 12x equals 55 or x equals 55 over 12. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.